I'm Mitch Marks, Electrification Specialist with HPK, and today I'm going to be speaking about harmonics and electric machines. So ideally our electric machine is going to be driven by a perfect sine wave, the ones that we learned about in, in middle school. Um, but in reality, the electric machines that are going into our vehicles and um, our appliances and, and even our aircrafts are driven by an inverter. And this inverter is supplying a voltage that's made up of a series of variable pulse width voltages. And these variable pulse widths get filtered down to the sine wave that's powering our machine. Now just by the nature of the square waves, this is going to create non-sinusoidal behavior, and it's going to create harmonics in the motor. These machines are often also permanent magnet motors, where we have a rotor that has a magnet in it. And this magnet is going to interact with the stator windings. And this is also going to create a non-sinusoidal back EMF, where we see non-sinusoidal behavior in the voltage output of the machine. So between our inverter and the construction of the machine and some other factors, this sine wave is going to have a lot of harmonic content. Now this harmonic content can be characterized by taking a Fourier transform of the voltage or current signature. And what we find is that we get a fundamental, you know, maybe we get a little second, a little third, a little fourth, some fifth, seventh, and so on and so forth. And the percentage of these harmonics is going to determine certain factors about the machine. For example, the voltage and current of a given harmonic are going to create power. So if we have the voltage of the fifth harmonic, the current of the fifth harmonic, and the phasing of those harmonics, we can determine the power of an individual harmonic. Now some of this power is going to operate in the clockwise direction and create torque. Um, for example, the first harmonic, it might be rotating clockwise. Some of these harmonics, like the fifth, might rotate counterclockwise and actually disturb the torque that we're trying to create. And other harmonics, like the second, the third, may just contribute to losses, where our power equation is going to tell us uh, how much we're losing to that harmonic. So these harmonics are really important in the machine operation. They tell us how much torque we have. They tell, much how, tell us how much negative torque we have and they can tell us where some of our losses are going. So this is really powerful. Now what are some other reasons we might want to characterize harmonics? Well, harmonics can be an indicator of failure in the motor. If we have a given harmonic and over time it starts creeping up, this could indicate that the machine is going to have a failure. So that can tell us if something's going wrong in the motor, if we monitor a given harmonic. You know, if we see the fifth creeping up or the seventh creeping up, that could indicate something's going wrong. Control engineers also might inject a harmonic. They might increase, let's say, the third harmonic periodically to control the machine. We call this a harmonic injection. And control engineers might want to understand this. We can also look at the harmonic content of things like our torque or maybe the vibration of the motor. So we could look and see our torque ripple and identify maybe if this torque has a contribution coming from one of our motor harmonics. So we can really start to piece together this whole story of how the motor operates. Now if we do the, the fast Fourier transform or the Fourier transform on these signals, and we do it across the speed range, so as we increase speed, we monitor all these signals. We can plot out our given harmonics or our given orders in a color map and see which orders are strongest at what speeds. And really start to characterize this motor, really start to understand how each harmonic contributes throughout the speed range of the motor, throughout the torque range of the motor. So by understanding these harmonics, by plotting them, by graphing them, we can really start to understand where losses in our machine are going. And we can do that with things like our voltage of a harmonic times our current of a harmonic times the phasing of the harmonic. We can identify those losses. We can start to understand the source, the source of noise and vibration in our motor. This inverter, this back EMF, these currents are causing torque. This torque is causing radial forces. So we can really start to understand some of the sources of our NVH in our motor by characterizing our motor harmonics. Lastly, we can see how our control is operating. 
If an engineer decides that they're going to do a harmonic injection and they're going to increase a harmonic for a period of time, we might want to understand how that affects losses. We might want to understand how that's actually getting to the motor. Our control engineers can start to characterize those harmonic injections by really looking closely at individual harmonics of the motor. Now these are not the simplest calculations to do, but fortunately HBK has a product called eDrive. And our eDrive power analyzer has some really cool features that allow us to do harmonic analysis. Firstly, we can characterize individual harmonics, the third, the fifth, the seventh, pick your favorite, on a cycle basis. So we have a cool tool called Cycle Detect. that allows us to track the fundamental frequency and characterize individual harmonics every half cycle of the fundamental frequency. So this is a really powerful tool for understanding things like harmonic injection or how NVH or torque ripple track with our electrical signals. And this allows us and the eDrive system to act like harmonic scope. We can track these signals in the real time and monitor, monitor them for things like failures, for things like harmonic injections. So you get that engineer's intuition live in front of the screen, right in front of your face. Lastly, we offer custom math. This custom math is executed in the real time so that if you're doing things like tracking fifth harmonic voltage, fifth harmonic current, the phasing, you can calculate what your harmonic power is in the real time. And if you have more things you want to contribute into those calculations or you want to use those harmonic calculations in other places, you can create your own custom equations to understand the operation of your machine. So the eDrive system allows you to measure your voltages and currents, characterize your harmonics, make all the plots you might, might want, correlate to noise and vibration, understand your control all in one convenient package. Thank you for your time.